Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Quintiverse. My name is Quinn, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. All right, woo. Okay, we're gonna get this started. Um, so you guys may be wondering why I'm playing. Um, why am I recording like Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach? Because I stream this usually, but um, I you d I had never recorded this before. So um, there's actually a reason for this. So for those of you who watched my last Five Nights at Freddy's stream, it did amazingly, like over one thousand views now i i can't thank you guys enough for this oh my gosh roxy you're trying to find me <laughs> so i can't thank you guys enough for that and thank you for all the support and everything the likes the comments the views everything but um i'm doing this because this the last stream didn't go entirely according to plan so i so for the last stream i had two endings to get so for the last stream i had two endings to get um i had to get um, the good Vanny ending, which is the alternate ending from the stream I did a couple weeks ago, and I had to get the fire escape ending, which is me going through, um, I think the prize counter, and then me just going through the fire escape exit. So, I got the alternate Vanny ending, it was great, and I loved it, I like, I ho <laughs> sometimes I like to think that's a true ending, and it's just, it's just amazing, I mean, but the fire escape ending, now, I don't know what happened. But when I, so I collected all the plushies in the lap, I had a lot of trouble. I'll admit I had a lot of trouble collecting a pl collecting all the plushies, um, and it was crazy. Um, while I charge this, I'm going to keep explaining. So, when I collected all the plushies, I went straight to the prize counter. I did not know what a prize counter was, but I did learn, um, it was in, uh, over here. The L ships, um place i think that's where it is because yeah and i and i believe it's where it is because I, I saw the fire escape emergency exit so when i went to the exit with all the plushies um like all the golden plushies i it didn't work for some reason i don't know why i don't know if there's something i didn't do i don't know if there's something i'm supposed to collect besides the golden plushies but i'm gonna hammer it out right now 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 as right here i saved it but i also saved two save slots so um i so I still have all the plushies um, that I collected in the last stream, but I moved, but I did that in another save slot. I, I now I'm now using the second slave slot, the second save slot I have to um, start this over. So what I'm going to do is recollect all the plushies and see where I'm going to go. Yeah, you know I mean, so and I'm doing this not because like I know technically I don't have to collect all the plushies because I have them. But I'm just doing it just because, I don't know, I want to make a video out of this and I want to see if I can try a different approach than I did from the stream. So as you can see, uh, there are no golden plushies here. Um, I used to, I still have the golden plushies, but they're just in another safe slot. Um, I'm going to keep that safe slot um, just in case things don't work out here. So um, we're going to we're gonna try our best to see if we can get the ending. I'm going to try our best to make sure it worked. I don't know if Security Breach got an update since i did the stream last saturday but either way um we're gonna try to do this so first so the first step we're going is the prize counter so we're gonna go to that right now Whew. all right all right all right okay so one thing i'm gonna do is now um of course you have to avoid the security bots now um i don't have the plushies yet so i can't go to the emergency exit but first i want to see I just want to see. So one thing I noticed, and I noticed this because, and because right after, like, um, so right after, uh, I, I, I honestly also hope I don't get tripped by any robots, or else I'm just. <laughs> I noticed something after I after the last stream ended. Um, I think the fire escape ending is supposed to be sort of barricaded, but it wasn't when it came to me. I don't know if it was like barricaded. Oh jeez, am I supposed to go this way? I don't know where to go now. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah, so I don't know if it was, so it wasn't barricaded to my knowledge, it wasn't, shoot. So we have to go in here first, I'm probably most likely gonna get lost. I'm probably most likely gonna get lost when I do this, and you know, I I was actually kind of debating to myself of whether I should do this because, I, in, in in retrospect, I actually did kind of beat the game. I didn't get the last ending because they didn't show it, but I collected all the plushies, like I said. The stream was the stream wasn't bad, wasn't that bad. I just the one thing that kind of pissed me off a little bit is that like it had problems. So I think I'm supposed to go this way. Um, I think I don't remember. 
and I'm trying to avoid security bots at the same time. So I'm gonna try to. Uh, okay, it's not that way. Um, so I'm making this video just to see if I can start from square one and see if I can like evaluate why I didn't get the ending. Now, I now like I said, I also have the guide pulled up right next to me, and I have the guide pulled up because I just wanna. I had the guide pulled up on the streams. Um, on the I had the guide pulled up on the last streams, so. I did that just so I can, you know, see if I'm doing the right thing. So I do know you're supposed to go down this hallway. I, I Now, I know I don't have the plushies, but my goal right now is, let me make sure my sound's going right, yep. So my goal right now is, I'm going to check if it's barricaded or not. I'm going to check if it's barricaded and if it is barricaded. Oh my gosh. I'm going to check if it is barricaded and if it's not barricaded. Um, it's going to raise some questions. It is not barricaded. So, I'm wondering, like, this should be the fire escape. I, I think, at least I think it is, yeah. I think this is the fire escape ending, so I don't know. So, right now, that's our goal. The fire escape ending, that's our goal right now. I don't know if there's something that we're supposed to do specifically, but I will try to solve this. Oh, boy. And look what we brought here. So we are going to go get the golden plushies. Um, I'm going to cut between each of the plushies. But oh my gosh, I'm going to probably... I'm going to probably <laughs> oh, I'm so screwed. What am I supposed to collect? Oh, it's not a golden plushie, but... What is it? A frozen Freddy tree. Good, now Roxy can have a snack before she killed me. So I'm going to cut this. Um, yep. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna cut this to the point where I can actually find all the plushies and I'm gonna see oh, geez. first I'm gonna escape her okay slow down I know you're there I don't know why I'm keeping this going so okay guys um, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut it to where we can find the first plushie I'm gonna find a plushie one by one and um, this is gonna be the video so all right so I'll see you guys in the first plushie all right guys so the first location that we're gonna look in is Bonnie bowl this is where we can find the uh, golden uh, Monty uh, plushie so this is where we can find a golden Monty plushie so if my memory served me right, it is behind the ice cream counter when you actually go into the actual bowling alley. So this is where we have to go. This is actually the first plushie I believe I did find. Like I said, I'm hey, superstars. It's me, Freddy. Welcome to the Mega Pizza Plex. <laughs> Grab a jumbo slice of pepperoni and top it off with an ice cold fizzy fizz. Then enjoy our super games and attractions. Don't forget. And have a fun and fazerific, fazerific day. Oh my gosh. So we have to go here um, to the actual bowling alley. Gregory, did you read that message? It said there is a bag of Monty Mystery Mix behind the bowling alley. Chica goes cuckoo for Monty Mystery Mix. I said this in the stream and I'm going to say it again. This would have been very useful information. I remember in the uh, Bonnie Bowl, I was very... I remember when I first visited Bonnie Bowl, I was super confused on what to do. And that's because Freddy didn't relay his message that I need to grab Monty Mystery Mix. I don't think he did, or something like, I did not know I had to grab Monty Mystery Mix. So if you go this way, you can grab the Monty Mystery Mix if you haven't destroyed Chica already. But if you go this way, however, and go all the way down these steps right here, you will find a golden a little golden present which will contain golden Monty right here so we got the first golden plushie and we are gonna to go to the next one right now all right so here we are at Monty's Gator Golf where we will find the next plushie um, that we're gonna find that we need to find for the fire escape ending which is uh, golden Sun so um, we're gonna go on Monty Golf now when you go into Monty Golf do not go through the front entrance right there you will go to the to the other side which is I believe um, sort of like in a sort of like an aquarium type thing with a um, a chica as a mermaid 
But um, when you get here, you will have you will go in here, go to this lighthouse right here, and the door will open. And as you can see, there's a golden present right here. Uh, open it, and you will find golden sun right there. So, that, so this one is actually one of the most easiest ones to find out of all of them because there's no animatronics. Um, well, there's no animatronics in the front lobby. So it's like literally just run through it and you'll get your prize. Yeah, I mean, so that's something. So now we're going to go to the next one, which I believe is Golden Freddy, but I will correct myself if it is wrong. So, all right, let's go to the next one, y'all. Okay, the next plushie right here is Golden Freddy indeed. We're going to find him in Rockstar Row, which is the first part of the... Which is actually the first part of the game. Um, Rockstar Row is when each of the animatronics have their own green room right here. So, uh... Um, also, this is a midway message. Now, since we're going down these hallways, I'm going to say it anyway. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell for all notifications. And you'll get more Quintiverse content along with this smile. <laughs> I know people are, but you guys, I knew you probably, guys are probably tired of me saying that, like, on the stream. But I just, I'm trying to get used to it, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know what I mean? Because all YouTubers will say this, you know what I mean? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. I say it all the time in my streams. Um, just because it helps out the channel, yeah, you know I mean, so, you know, content creator stuff, it's like, you know what I mean. So, here we are in Rockstar Row, each of the animatronics have their own green room, Freddy, uh, Rox, Roxanne, um, Wolf, Montgomery, Montgomery, what, it? Montgomery Gator, and Glamrock Chica. So, we're actually going to go to Monty's room, which, as you can see, He's, it says right here it's off limits. So when you go into Monty's room, jeez, it looks creepy in here. When you go into Monty's room, you'll not only find this thing, which um, I'm gonna get in a second, but you'll also find this little golden present behind the Monty's mini golf arcade machine. So I'm gonna collect this, and what we're gonna find? We're gonna find Golden Freddy, and I'm not talking about Golden Freddy, that little animatronic monster like Fredbear or Golden Fredbear. We are actually we have actually the Golden Freddy plushie right here. So um, I can't believe I didn't uh, collect this. I know this is not this is not really relevant to video Monty's mischief. Okay, I'll read that later. But we are gonna go to the next. We're gonna go to the next um plushie right now. So let's go, y'all. I like saying that. You know, before we get to the next plushie, I'm going to do this because I haven't actually uh, called him at all yet, and I think that's a crime. So, let me call our buddy. There we go. So, I haven't called him at all because I really didn't really need him. No offense, Freddy. But I'm going to go in him because I'm actually going to supercharge him right here in this charger right here. Oh, he actually has uh, almost full bars. Well, I'm, so I'm actually going to, uh, so I supercharged him, and I'm actually going to uh, literally walk to the next place. And so I'm going to see you guys there. I guess I didn't even have to cut the video, really. I guess I didn't really have to cut the video right here, because here's the next location of the next plushie. Um, thank you, Freddy. You basically saved me the trouble of running away from these bots. So, um... So the next plushie is where this is, all the stands, ice cream, pasta, sa salad sides. Um, there is a elevator through these doors. So, Freddy, I'm actually going to um, leave you here because I actually want to save you power just in case I need you. So, thank you, my friend. So we are actually going to go in this elevator right here and push this button. This is where the next um, plushie is now. If my memory serves me right, it's going to be in a big room where a lot of security bots are swarming around. Now, before their extinction, what? More than any other food service vehicles. This has been another fun fast fact. I like the fun fast bullshit. Oh my gosh, man. I like how they're hyping up this death trap place. So, um, okay. Oh, oh. We didn't even, I didn't even have to, oh shoot, Freddy! I didn't even have to, like, uh, leave you behind. I thought, I just wanted to save you power, my friend. Okay, looks like we can bring Freddy with us for this plushie. So, we're gonna use Freddy right here, um, we don't need to because the next animatronic, uh, the next, uh, animatronic plushie is 
right here. Um, you gotta go through these doors and avoid the security bots, of course. Uh, golden, uh, the golden chica plushie is literally right around here. You just gotta go under this uh, static shock TV that looks to be broken, and this little poster that said "Never stop smiling." The customer is always right in this big room, and literally the next, pl the next um. Plushie is right here, as you guys can see. So we gotta unwind it, and we get the Golden Chica Plushie as so we get the Golden Chica Plushie as expected. So I'm gonna go back in Freddy. Um, that sounds weird. So I'm gonna go back in Freddy, and we are gonna head our way to the next Golden Plushie. So we will see you guys there. I love Freddy, but I like he just staring at me with these creepy eyes. Oh my gosh, man! He just staring at me with these creepy eyes and stuff like. Imagine being in any elevator with this guy. Imagine being in any elevator with this guy literally uh, staring at you. And tell me, tell me you wouldn't be scared. Tell me you wouldn't be creeped out by him. Goodness gracious, man. Freddy, you helped me and everything, and I love you. But, jeez, man, you have a creepy smile. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, guys, we are back near the green rooms, and the reason why we're back near the green rooms is because this is where the Golden Roxy plushie is. But you don't go near the green rooms, you go to the tunnel um, door, the utility tunnels, which are located right here. And once you go down these steps right here, you have to do it with Freddy, and this is important. So you have to do it with Freddy because if you defeated Monty, you have Freddy's claw. You have Monty's claw, excuse me. So when you defeat Monty, you now go through here. Bam. And now you can go past this robot, where this this room that looks very uh, ominous and creepy. If you go right behind here, you will find da 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 another golden uh, present, which will also obviously have a golden plushie. Now this unveils golden Roxy right here. So we collected another plushie that is five more, one to go, and we are gonna get that last golden plushie right now. So are you ready, Freddy? What is he looking at? <laughs> now he's looking at me. You're creepy, my bro. You're creepy. Okay, guys, so we're back here because we have only one more plushie to get. Um, uh, let me just double check right here. Yes, we have five out of the six plushies, and there's one more to get, which is uh, Golden Moon. But this plushie is actually a little bit unique. Now, the reason why I say this is because, like, uh, Golden Moon actually requires you to do something... Is, is require you to do a couple steps before you can actually collect them. He's not like the others where you can actually just go to a, a certain location of the game and actually collect them. No, you actually have to do some things before he's actually revealed. Now, um, so what you have to do is you have to find four. I, I think you have to find four cardboard cutouts of the Five Nights of, of the original Five Nights at Freddy's characters. I think. Which are Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, I think. Yeah. I think you have to do... You have to find four um, cardboard cutouts um, of the original Five Nights at Freddy's characters. And you have to take a picture of them. Now, um... And it has to be... And the thing is, you ha it has to be a specific cutout. So, um... The reason why I'm at Monty's Gator Golf... The reason why I'm at Monty's Gator Golf is the first cutout is actually here. Is back here. So if you go into this little ocean room where the chica is. Now, it's not this cutout. I actually made the mistake of... Thought, I thought this cutout was um, the one you had to get. But that, it's actually not that... It's actually not this one. It's actually over here. So you get out your um, fast camera, whatever it's called. And you take a picture of the characters that you're supposed to do. So the original character, so the first cutout you're supposed to get is this Chica right here. Once you take a picture of Chica, her eyes will glow, and there we go. That means you got the first cutout. Now that is very important. Um, it's very important because right here we have to get four cutouts of the original characters. So we're going to be on our way to the next cutout right now. So the next cutout you guys have to get, um, the next so the next cutout that we have to get is in Rockstar Row, sort of. It's not really so much in Rockstar Row. Um, let me let me actually explain here. So it's not in Rockstar Row per se. It's near Rockstar Row, where the green rooms are. Um, uh, it's basically. Um, oh jeez, I literally thought you almost were <laughs> my animatronic, Freddy. You bastard. 
<laughs> okay, okay, what was I? Oh, yeah, um, so the next, um, cutout that you have to get, um, is in the, oh, jeez. It's the backstage, uh, it's the backstage, um, room. Like the, let me actually see if this is it. It's, it could be found near the green room, which is why I'm trying to find it. So let me actually see if this is it. Uh, you will go, uh, I don't know if you have to go through here to get to the backstage room. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Hold up. Um, hmm. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. This, I believe, is what the... No, no, nah, no. Okay. Okay, um, now I'm confused. I am actually confused here, so... Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so... I think it's this right here. I literally passed this. Uh, where is it? 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 So after looking, and I just remembered, I'm I'm literally serious about this. I just remembered it's down here. It's literally down here now. Um. I thought at first you had to go here, but no, this is actually to the control room, or so to speak. This is where you're supposed to go. Um, I forgot about this door because this is actually one of the first doors you're supposed to go through. I'm supposed to go through this door, um, this right here, and this is the, uh, I believe, the rehearsal room. This is where I believe the animatronics rehearse. There is a cutout of Freddy here as a pirate. So here's the thing. Here's also what you guys have to take note about this, about this plushie. The cutouts are all pirate themed. So, like Chica was a mermaid, that's basically pirate themed. It's ocean themed, which all you need to know. Freddy is supposed to be a pirate, so let me see if I can find him. Bingo right here. Freddy is a pirate. You get your flash cam, and his life flashes up. So, we got Chica and Freddy. Um, so, next is Bonnie, I think is. I, yeah, it's Bo yeah, it's Bonnie, because... Uh, Foxy's actually last. You'll know why soon. So we're actually gonna go. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> we are gonna go to the Bonnie uh, cutout right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I just want to say right here, you're walking through the dark and you see this eyes and guess who? Freddy. I know, right? I know I keep showing. I know I keep showing the fact that he's creepy, but I'm just. I'm sorry. It's just that I literally am walking down this hallway. I, I. I knew. I knew immediately it was him with those eyes, but it just blends in with the total darkness of the room. It just blends in so much. All right. So okay, I'm gonna meet you guys at this next cutout because this next cutout is kind of a bit of a walk. So I'm glad I'm not streaming this because. Then you got. Then you guys. W then I would have to make conversation while I'm trying to get to it. So I'm going to get to it, and I'll meet you guys there. So this next um, cutout is basically in the Faz Arcade section. Oh my gosh! I almost got caught. Jeez. Give me. Okay, stop dancing. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. Stop. Okay. I will say this thing keeps dancing, and the robots could circle around. So. It's in the so this next cutout is in the Faz arcade and here's um I love how the ele like the elevator intercom is literally just interrupt me while I try to explain this oh my bad a little lag a little laggy not no big deal so um this next cutout is not is it's in the same arcade it's in the Faz arcade where we encounter DJ Music Man so. Let me um call. Let me call a special friend. You already know who he is. Freddy! Freddy! There you are. Sometimes he comes after one or two. Oh boy. Sometimes he comes after like one or two uh, voices. Yeah, it's no big deal. So the reason why I call Freddy is because you're actually gonna want him for this part. Um, maybe you can actually do this without Freddy. But the reason why I say you should probably want Freddy is because um, there's going to be a couple of animatronics running around here. First is going to be Chica, which is going to be busted up. There is Chica right now. Goodness gracious. I don't think Freddy touching it would kill me. At least I hope it doesn't. I'm not going to take that chance. But um, you're going to want Freddy to actually kind of lead you here.
move. So, um, here we go. Now, Freddy can drop you off right here. Um, there's no animatronics back uh, back here, thank God. Um, whew. This is, so, so, for those of you who actually saw the last stream, this place is very, actually, if you've seen my stream before, like, not, if you've seen the Music Man stream and the last stream, or either one, this is familiar either way, um, I played Princess Quest 2 here. So, in the last stream, I not only got the Vanny ending, which required, I, I got the Vanny ending, which required me to do all the Princess Quest games. Um, near the Princess Quest games is actually Bonnie. Is Bonnie tipped over? He is he's tipped over right now, but um, still works either way. You go here, you take a picture, and he's and Barry, and there you go. I just want to say that this does anybody notice this 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 uh, princess looking this princess so to speak looks like it could be a character off Adventure Time. You guys know Adventure Time um, with Finn and Jake. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't know if you don't know uh, what I'm talking about, I if if you if you if you, if you guys still like cartoons, I highly recommend you guys watch it. Yeah, I mean me and my fiance watched it and we loved it. So um, that's kind of why I made that reference. So we got the Bonnie we got the Bonnie plushie now. So. We got the Bonnie plushie now, and now we're gonna go to the final um, cutout, which, if I remember correctly, it's the most pain in the ass one. Um, it's the Foxy. It's the Foxy cutout, which is is it, actually the Foxy um, cutout is sort of in the same location as the um, as the next golden plushie. So, Freddy, please escort us out of here, and I'll meet you guys. At the last plush, at the last color, cut out. All right, cut it. <laughs> now for this last cutout, we are actually going to exit the uh, atrium. Um, we're actually going to exit the atrium to go back to the main lobby, um, and that is where we're actually going to um, see the last cutout. You see, the cutout um, is in one of my is one of the worst places of this uh, pizza establishment. It's Okay, okay, we get it. Pizza is fun. Five, uh, Freddy Fazbear's is fun. Uh, you love your stupid fast facts, even though they're bullshit or whatever. Um, okay. So, um, you have to go to the superstar, superstar daycare pickup. Um, this is the place to where this is the place to where Sun Drop and Moon Drop are both at. Um, Moon Drop to Dick. So is Sundrop, actually. Okay, so, um, you go in here. I like, I like how, first of all, I want to say this, these are the statues that they have for children. Uh, Sundrop looks okay, like happy, but literally, Moondrop looks like he's gonna strangle, or something like that. So, um, this is another thing I actually kind of recommend you guys supercharge Freddy for. I actually... Took a pic so I actually took a split second off camera to charge Freddy full power. Then I literally got out of him. Now um, I don't. You don't need Freddy for this part. This part is actually not bad. This part is actually not bad. Um, you just gotta be mindful of these robots right here because these robots will be looking. These robots basically go in a pattern, which is why I don't think they're that hard. Because they literally go into a straight and forward pattern. Um, not all of them, though. So, um, it's very important that you make sure you have Freddy fully charged. Um, you can do this old. You can, like I said, you can do this with or without Freddy. It's not it's not that hard to do it without Freddy. Um, I just I just do it just just because I'd rather ha I'd rather it be easy on myself. You know what I mean? So, let me call in Freddy. Freddy! I hear him. What if, is he? Freddy! Where the heck is this guy? Freddy! There you are. I called you like ten times. More like five times, but whatever. So, you don't, like I said, you don't need Freddy for this part. So, if you get through, I, I, I got and do this part before, I believe, without Freddy. So, um,. But I'm just doing it to make it easier on myself. I just rather not die. I, I want you guys also to take a look at this po picture right here. I want you to take a look at this picture. Uh, can I get out of Freddy? Okay. 
uh, the robot, the box won't come over here, will they? No, they won't. Yeah, they won't. Okay. So I want you guys to take a look at this picture. Notice how Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy's eyes are glowing. That is because the characters that you have to find are specifically um, pirate characters, like I stated before. And the each time when you uh, take a picture of a cutout, the eyes will glow here. And as you can see, Foxy's eyes are not glowing just yet. So we are going to get him right now. Um, uh, i got to be careful, though. I think there's a security bar right there. Yeah, there is. So, huh. Jesus. Okay, it, it was lagging there for a second. I hated that. So, you don't need. F I think you don't need Freddy for this. Okay. Um, the one thing I'm really afraid of is these are endos. So, um, if you go in here, if you go in here, first of all, let me call Freddy. Okay, good. I'm gonna have him ready. So, Freddy, once you, so I don't think the endos will come alive, but I'm just going just in case. I think the last Foxy um, cutout you have to do is here. Oh Jesus! I did the, I, did, I made the same mistake. Oh, are you not gonna, you're not gonna strangle me, are you? Oh, the last one you're supposed to do is this one. My bad. The last one you're supposed to do is this one. But I guess this one also works too because it's also a Foxy cutout. Um, actually, never mind. You actually don't need... Okay, may maybe I was wrong. I thought the endo... So, the endos didn't actually come up. My bad. Um, so, I'm actually going to get out of Freddy right now. Because you don't realistically need him for this part. This, actually, this part is actually kind of easy uh, without him. The only thing you have to watch out for is, of course, of course, the security bots, which this security bot, um, he's going to come down here and check to see if there's anything here. Oh, this is all he's going to do? Okay, yeah. So, just be worried with the security bot and go back to where we saw the Foxy poster. So, that's something to do. So, as you can see, this Foxy poster turns into a... Well, it then turned into it opens a door, which you go into. You go into the back of the store, and you see a lot of broken pieces and parts, like some kind of I don't know, like some kind of engineering room or something like that. Or see, this is a mixture of plushies, uh, bot parts, and toys. I don't know why, but what you have to do is you have to go through this hole right here. Crawl through this hole. You'll not only see uh, you'll not only see this little bag right here, but you're gonna see um, a golden box, which is should be around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You'll see a golden box, which leads to golden moon. Finally, now I recommend before you um, go to the fire escape, you save. Now, I don't think what's in here, by the way. It's probably another note. It is another note. Arcade conspiracy. It is a conspiracy here. Of course it's a conspiracy. It's Five Nights at Freddy's. Where murders happen. Where uh, spirits. Where children of. Where children's spirits literally get, get in, in animatronics and they try to kill you. Freddy! Where? Oh, <laughs> I was like, where the heck is he coming from? Good, good work. Whoa, Freddy, chill. What? What? Did you, I was gonna say, where'd you go? Well, he just shoved me out the way and just like, I'm going here. So, um, like I said, I'm just doing this so I don't get caught. Um, the reason why I'm also doing this is because, like, um, to make a long story short, I, I tried to get all the plushies before in the last stream. And the reason why I didn't get it quick enough is because I actually died in the last stream to, to Roxy one because I went the wrong way. And because of that, I was actually late to getting donuts with my friends, so they came here. So if you guys saw the stream, you saw at the very end, my friends actually came to visit, you know, and while they went into my living room, they actually were roasting me while I was finishing the stream. So that was nice of them. I love my friends. Um, 
But, um, that's also why I'm doing this is because I don't want to die and start over. And I, now, I don't think I can start over because I collected all the... I saved before I collected all the plushies, but um, I'm going to supercharge Freddy. Whew. So we are back. We're going to head back to the prize. We're gonna, so we're going to head to the prize counter. I will show you guys where the prize counter is. It's literally um, upstairs of the atrarium. So, excuse me. I don't know why I'm. I'm sorry. I I apologize. I don't know why I'm burping out all over the place or something like that. So we are actually going to hit this, click this button, and I'll meet you guys at the place where we're supposed to go. So guys, the last thing that the last um, thing we have to do is now go to the fire escape. As you can see, this is a prize is door, but we can't go through these doors. These are actually out of order. You're going to know why in a second. Um, actually, I kind of didn't. I show. I actually kind of did show you guys why um, when I first entered there in the first place. So uh, so what you have to do is go into L Chips. Um, L Chips actually has like a little entrance to the price counter thing. Now the only thing is, I don't think Freddy can go through. The, I don't think Freddy can go through the price counter. I don't think he can. And once again, one thing you have to do. So the, the only downside about this is you have to kind of whoa. The only downside about this is you have to go through this kind of solo, which sucks. But we're gonna try our best. Yeah, I mean we're gonna try our best. So once you get so once you got all so let me just check one more time. Um I got one, two, three, four, five, six, all of the plushies, and unless there's a seventh plushie, I think we're good. So we are actually gonna go to the prize counter. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, go. We're actually gonna go to the prize counter. I'm hoping I don't get caught by one of these Android Robo, Robo shits. So, um, now I'm hoping, I, I thought I heard Roxy a second ago, and I'm hoping that she's not still at the door, cause then I'm screwed. So I think the prize counter is all the way back here behind all this. Why is she there? We have. I'm. I'm sneaking past here because we have to go here. So we have to go here, I believe. And once we go through this door, I'm hoping this works, man. I really am hoping this works. I believe all this prize counter stuff. We go, um, hmm. Wow. Um, I don't think I'm going the right way, but. Oh, I'm not going the right way. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I know where we have to go. So, um, this is the prize counter. What you have to do, I think, is. And, and, and you can tell this is the prize counter, because remember the doors I showed you in the first place? Here they are. Here they are. So, um,. It's, oh, right here, right here, right here. You go in here. It, it's behind literally the elevator right here. Um, what's the... Oh. I was going to say, what the... Oh, there we go. Why am I going the wrong way constantly? Like This is so stupid. So you go here, and will it, will it ask me? No, it won't. It's not asking me, did I forget to do something? I don't know. Like, okay. I, th I don't know why it's not asking me this. And she's finding me, so I'm gonna figure out what's going on here, you know? So, we're gonna go back to this. 
Okay guys, what's up? So, I'm doing a little voice over audio recording because one thing I didn't notice while recording this little scene right here is my mic was muted. So, it's actually just me doing um, a little mission uh, while my mic was muted. So, you're not going to hear anything from this actual video clip. But you are going to still hear the background noises and just voiceovers from the scene. So, um, so after collecting all the plushies and trying to do the fire escape ending once again it wouldn't let me so I did some research on some articles to see what I have to do uh, just see what else is there to do to unlock the fire escape ending I did notice that a lot of people have different experience and one thing that caught my eye was do uh, I had the prize counter mission had to be completed now one thing I did look at is I didn't complete the prize counter mission at all during my playthrough I didn't even know what that was so I actually took a look at it I had to go to the security office that was near the prize counter and that is this mission as you can see here um, one thing I did notice is that the when you beat the uh, security office mission you do get level 7 access and some person in w one of the articles I read actually said that they got a certain level uh, security access and that led them to the fire escape ending so I decided to give it a try myself and one thing about so one thing about the fire escape mission you will notice is that this is actually a little Easter egg or something like that to Five Nights at Freddy's One. I say that because it's in the same format as the first game, meaning that you have two doors on your left and on your right that you can shut with just a click of a button, and you also have the video camera system, which I actually have a video camera system on my fast watch, and I am checking it periodically um, while doing this mission. So the goal is, so the story of this mission is. Um, the prize counter room or something like that has been shut down and Freddy is trying to spend a couple minutes trying to get the system back online but while I have to survive um, the animatronics uh, while Freddy tries to get the system back online and you'll notice that Roxy and Monty are both trying to get me those are the only two animatronics that try to kill me during this entire ordeal and one thing I did notice um, besides uh, just the animatronics itself is that um, they will try to circle around the entire perimeter just to get to me but there was a little bug where Roxy and Monty would stay at a certain door so they would stay at the left side of the door and not circle around anymore as you can see Roxy is kind of clipping through the door a little bit and one thing I noticed is that Monty is right behind uh, Roxy trying to get in into the left side of the door so that was a little strange and it kind of ran out the power as well. It means I couldn't open the left door, so the power was just going to go out regularly. But it was also kind of a good thing, and it took me a while to notice because one thing about it is it allowed me to um, make sure I get a head start when running to the exit once Freddy got the power out, once Freddy got the power back uh, up and running. So one thing I did do is I did go into, I went to the exit hallway um, with a few seconds to spare before the power um got back online and before the animatronics came into the security room and after I succeeded the mission um, I headed the first thing I did was head towards the fire escape uh, door to see if I'm eligible to do the fire escape ending which I wasn't still even with the upgraded security clearance I wasn't still so I did a little bit more research and one thing I did found is that um, there, was a, there was a lot of things that people did everyone's experience is a little different um, one person said I had to get level 8 sec security clearance, which I did from going to the Faz Arcade security office. And one person said I had to collect 60 different um, toys and items all together, including the plushies, just to be eligible for the ending. So I did all that, and I still wasn't successful. They wouldn't let me do the fire escape ending uh, still. So what I did do um, is I got a video from a YouTuber to play the ending over while I do some commentary over it. So that was the best thing I can do. So that's what we're going to see right now. Okay, we got the fire escape ending right here, right here. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, okay. So, I... All right. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let it play out. Let it play out. Oh, you got... You got to look... The, you got to love the look on Freddy's eyes. Oh, my gosh. He like... Oh, my gosh. Time, it's time to end this. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright, alright. So I do know. Okay, okay. He and Okay, and there we have it. There we have it. This. Okay, alright. So I already do know he sets the whole place on fire. Um, 
that actually is like a tie or something to Five Nights at Freddy's 3 or something. What? The same ending. Oh, oh my gosh, Fanny. We got Fanny here. Now, okay. If I. Wait. Oh, here we come. See? Fanny, I can see you now. I have new eyes. So, I think. I, oh, I do know he, what he's gonna do. Oh my gosh, man. I really wish I got this ending on my own, but like, my gosh. Freddy! Oh my gosh, I knew it. He sacrificed himself goodbye, Gregory. Oh my gosh. He sacrificed himself to Greg. Well, no, he sacrificed himself to get rid of Vanny. It's, it's, it's amazing how much of an impact... It's amazing how much, like, Vanny is so important in the story or something like that. I, I just... Oh my gosh. The big reveal. Vanessa. There we go. There we go. So, um, the people who are on my stream... This past couple, oh my gosh, so, the people who was on my stream already told me that it was Vanessa and, oh, hello, is that, act wait, what? Is that another Vanessa, okay, so, alright. Okay, so. All right. Wow. Okay. Um. Let me see if I can actually access something here. Um. I'm gonna act now. I know. So I just played the ending, but here's what we usually do. We need to talk about this. We do need to talk about this or something like that because that was intense. That was intense. <sighs> okay. So. All right. Here we go. Let me see if I can put on the thing. Sorry, guys. Um. Just seeing if I can maybe put on the input. Hope you guys can hear everything. So I know this is not the, I know this is not the regular um, credits that we see after every ending, but it's what I have to go. It's what I have to do so far. It's it's what I basically kind of have to work with for now. You know, I mean, like, so like I said, I am I'm thankful. I'm glad that you guys stopped by to watch the video. But once again, I'm sorry that I couldn't get the ending myself. I will continue. I will see. Now I don't know if I'm gonna play. F I'm not. I, usually I don't usually play this like unless you guys are watching me. But I will see if there's anything I can do to get the ending myself. Now we already saw the ending, um, and I want. Well, the one thing I don't like is the ending was spoiled to me because I was looking on so many articles and on people's video on how to get the fire escape ending, and everyone's video and article was either the same or different. Which is crazy. But I'm glad to show the ending to you guys. Um, and I just hope... And I, you know what? I'm just glad, like, I was able to do this. I got... I progressed very far in the game now. The only thing I can determine or conclude to of why I can't get the ending myself is because it's a glitch. Maybe. Maybe it's a glitch or a bug or something. I, I was hoping it wasn't. I actually thought this morning that it wasn't. It was just me because I didn't collect enough. But I I collected over sixty, I I collected as of I I collected sixty and now then I collected sixty one, for for starters, then um I collected like I don't know the six golden plushies I did that, I got level eight clearance I did that um, and I got Monty and for those of you I defeated. I defeated Chica, Foxy, and um, Monty. I do know there was an article that says you need Monty's claws. Freddy already has Monty's claws. He already has Monty's claws. So it, it, it boggles my mind of why I can't, you know, it boggles my mind of why I can't, you know, just go into the ending. You know I mean, and um, I, it, it just kind of bugs me. You know I mean, like maybe. If I do find the ending, I'll find it for you guys. I don't know. I, it just like I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I you got you guys have no idea. Um, you guys have no idea how much I do not like doing this. Like I rather have the ending. I rather get the ending myself because then I feel accomplished. But I do. I, I feel like I. I don't feel like I accomplished anything. I really don't. You know what I mean? I beat the game. I got the other endings. Except this one, but I don't know. I still am not sure if, if I, I'm still, I still don't know 
if it's something that it's on my end or if it's just the game in general. It seems like it's just a game. But I wonder, you know? Anyway, um, that was uh, that was the entire game of Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank you guys so very much for sticking around. Um, I, I know it was hard, left and right, left and right. I know it was a, probably a little bit of a confusing video, but I tried my best to collect as much stuff as I can because the last stream I collected stuff didn't work, and this stream still didn't work. So I'm guessing it's going to be patched. Now, I will be playing the DLC when it comes out. I heard the DLC is called Ruins. So I will be playing Ruins when it comes out. I don't know when it will come out, but I will play it. I just, I just hope. And I, I love this game. But please, patch this game specifically for the PS5. I'm just saying. Because I don't know what the heck is going on. Please patch this game. I love this game. It was fun. It was great. It, it got me scared and everything, which is what I loved. But man, it sucks that I can't get the final ending myself for you guys. But you know, I'm not going to dwell on the things happen. Yeah, I mean, as, you know, when you're sometimes when you're a content creator or anything like a project worker or whatever or something like that, sometimes things don't go according to plan. So you improvise, you manage what you got, and sometimes you know that's all you can give. Yeah, I mean. But um, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you liked the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps out the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the Quintiverse for more content. I upload two times a week and I stream every single Saturday. I stream every Saturday. So I hope you guys will tune in on Saturdays and enjoy the stream. And we're going to have a lot more that's going on. I will tell you guys the new Let's Plays and the new streams I got planned. So I'll make sure I keep you guys informed. I'm thinking about doing a WWE 2K20 to my rise or my GM mode. I do not know. Um, but I'll I'll keep you guys updated. I'm also open to suggestions. So if you guys have any suggestions of what game should I play, please uh, comment them down below. Um, I would love to hear what you guys have to play. Well, excuse me. I would love to hear what you guys want me to play, and, you know, I'll have my own suggestions as well on standby, and I'll, I'll review your suggestions and see um, which one is good for me, but I'm open to suggestions, like I said, so thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see all, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys, in the next video, see you guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh.